Okay, so I'm going to try to go sourcing again. I'm not ready to go to the thrift stores because they are way too packed. So I thought I'd try Willowstone during the week, this antique mall. We've been here before. It's at the very edge by Garden of the Gods. You know, again, the mountain range is all, you know, along there. So, um, you know, the parking lot's not too full and a lot of these are probably vendors checking on their stuff, right? So, I think, uh, oh wait a minute, while we're here, look. Look, you guys, we just did hometown collab with Fatbird Finds. Look at all those gorgeous houses up there. They are gorgeous. That's called Peregrine, I believe, up in that area. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to go on in. I've got my bass. I've got my hand sanitizer. And if they're not too busy, I'm going to try to have some fun, finally, and um, find something to buy or at least learn something, right? All right, you guys, I'll see you when I get in there. Okay, so yes, they're not too busy. And for close contact, people are wearing masks. I've got mine. So I'll put mine on in a minute. Um, Gorman Auctions is still having their auctions. So that's good. June the 6th, they're going to start back up. So that's good. Although I'm, I wouldn't be ready to do an auction yet. But ooh, there's a preview. They got the table set up. There's a preview for June this, for I guess that would be next week, right? Previews are usually on Friday, but I'm not ready to do an auction, even though I see they have the chairs set apart. I'm just not ready. Okay, so nice and quiet in here. I'm gonna grab a cart and go shop. And when I see cool stuff, um, I'll pop, pop back on and we'll check you guys, okay? Okay, this booth is 15% off. So that's not a lot, but she usually has some interesting things I wanted to so I thought we would look. Um, I don't think she had that stuff the last time I was here. I love that album cuff. And ah, uh, what is that stuff again? Oh, amber, amber probably. And look at that one. That one's got is that jasper? I believe different kinds of jasper. Let me zoom in for you guys. And that one's uh, in like gold tone brass or something. Uh, I wish prices were being shown. Okay, she's usually a little high though, but something caught my attention here. Well, first of all, I have this same Hager vase. She only wants two dollars, so okay, that's not good for me, right? <laughs> and I thought this was Fostoria. She has it marked as Fenton. 45. No, I've got a Fostoria heirloom plate that's like this, not curled, but you guys have seen it in my new shelf unit. I I don't buy these because I don't know them yet and I've never found a complete set. But this one, well, they're all pretty. Look at them. I mean, they're all gorgeous. These are some really pretty ones, not too foo foo -y. But look at this one in particular, Bavarian set. It's almost like starting to get into like atomic looking, isn't it? <laughs> Bring it out to the light. I like that one. So... There's the information. Johan Leithman. I can't say that. So I'm kind of new to this kind of stuff. I see, you know, some of our other YouTuber friends pick, pick it up. So that's $12 for the set, 15% off. And there's just something about that one I like. Okay, I'll let you guys look real quick. For those of you that can't get out, right? That's modern. That's cute. Got a little hook to hang it. I'll let you guys look real quick, okay? Because, you know, I'm mostly art class and faces, right? So, <laughs> I like that. What is this? Stretch glass pedestal. Doesn't look like stretch glass. Doesn't have those, like, marks. You know, like my Fenton piece does. Okay, I think I'm going to move along there's usually a booth back in there i like i want to see if she's still there so we're going to go visit whoever i think has a, whoever has a good sign a good sale sign is what i'm hoping that there'll be lots of good um half price sales maybe so that's what i'm looking for and then of course way 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 in the back back is that is the citywide where it's kind of like you know that big open space and you can rent a space a little cheaper all right so let's move on 
I came back for a minute because I forgot uh, when I was showing you that. I, I also wanted to spotlight this this Art Deco, what is that, letter opener? Some kind of crochet hook maybe? Scissors? Shoehorn it says. Is that Bakelite or something? That's interesting, isn't it? Oops, I missed this too. What is that? Lennox? Oh, okay, just a Lennox Vodou. Yeah. Okay. I might get that. <laughs> I might come back and get that. <laughs> well, here's something interesting. Excuse the noise for a minute. This booth is old electronics and stuff. They're having 50% off, but I don't know that kind of stuff. I just wanted to show you this cute little <laughs> cute little turtle thing. I don't know the maker and apparently they don't either. It's cute though with the little wicker cozy. And then I thought this was really pretty. Hang on, let's see how much. $55. $55 for the set. Hand painted glass pitcher and five glasses. Oh, look at it you guys. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Really nice. Really nice. I just wanted to show you guys that. Sorry I don't know anything about it and they don't either. So... Typically this stuff is Mexican, right? Usually Mexican looks like this. Oh well. Enjoy. It's very pretty. My favorite little sections here i guess it's called king's corner this store is and she's got 20 percent off she usually has some cool glass not all of it's vintage though but some of it's cool like this for instance so 20 percent off would be dollar fifty dollar fifty three dollars off and i kind of think that's cool too let me, let me show you guys <laughs> the little egg in it and there's a melon this is glass too and so is this And let's see. Okay, so this caught my eye. She says it's Canterbury. I'm saying she says, okay, because you know, people don't always know, just like on eBay, you know, can't really trust what someone else says. And I'm not that knowledgeable yet. I'm learning, but I'm not. But that's pretty. That's a pretty little blush set, isn't it? Uh, there's something else. Hang on. Something else I would thought you guys might like. Okay, so I'll let you guys look, but there's a couple other things I wanted to point out. I'm tempted with that little tiny salt cellar, so it would be 20% off too. Isn't that pretty, that little princessy thing? And I, um, this I'm not tempted to buy, but it's 49 That Millifori, um, she has it marked as Murano. But that's pretty. Let's go around the corner because she's got some more. And that's kind of cool whatever it is victorian blue slag spooner toothpick holder but i thought that i thought these were egg cups am i wrong aren't those egg cups okay so let's go around the corner i kind of like this i don't know what's with me in the pink i'm not really that you know i'm not a pink girl <laughs> so that's not vintage or i would even look at it I thought this was cute. The little salt cellars, I guess, or sauce bowls in the nappy dish. It's Japan. And it has like that, it has um, gold on it and not moriage, but gold. And then here's another one of these, look. So is this to put on your jewelry or to help you button? Am I wrong? Maybe not a crochet hook. And then this one has a little buffer with it. When you open that up, it's a little buffing pad. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Isn't that adorable? Wait a minute, let me show you the price. Nail buffer, something, something, 18. Oh, and it came open so I can show you. I'm holding my phone in my other hand. Some kind of suede chamo, sham, chamray cloth. <laughs> That's adorable. Not practical, but adorable. And why am I attracted to pink? This is a Cambridge. I think because I, I don't know, it would go with my sea beachy theme I have on that one section of my glass wall. So just letting you guys look. 
Not everything here is old for sure. This is kind of cool, this cobalt um, abstract vase or decanter. Decanter. There's perspective on how big it is. And she's just got a lot of pirates and stuff. So I'm going to move on. I might think about that one piece, but I'm going to move on for now. I just wanted to show you guys a few things, mainly that. <laughs> that cool set. So I am back at the garage sale, the citywide garage sale, where they've rented this whole big thing, I think, and then rent tables. So it's not as high-end stuff, but sometimes you can find things. I'm going down rows where there aren't much, many people or I put my mask on. So far, I had buying this for myself. It's $16 and 15% off. I don't know if it's older than that, but I don't care. That's too pretty. Buying that for myself. All right, so this will be iffy, you guys. This is more like a garage sale or yard sale, but you never know. I mean, I just found that piece, so I'll stop whenever I see something interesting, okay? Okay, I found a little something. This little section here, she's got 20% off. There are a lot of empty spaces. A lot. Some people just didn't make it probably through the shutdown. That's a shame. This area is a little cheaper again. This I'm still in the citywide um, garage sale where you just rent tables a lot cheaper. Anyways, she's having a sale and maybe going out of business. She's got some interesting stuff left, but the reason it's still here is everything's kind of cracked and chipped so i'm not going to do it but 20 percent off and there's some interesting pieces these are worth a little bit but that it's broken and this she has eight dollars and calling it murano but it's only murano style the poncho is really a hot mess so this looks i mean it's pretty don't get me wrong it's pretty somebody will like it but i don't want to get it for my wall or for resale I thought this was fascinating. I should probably try to find out more about this. She doesn't seem to know. But 20% off, no chips or anything. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? So I'm gonna go over to a quiet corner and think about that. Look it up. That looks new. I don't know what she's calling it, Northwood, but are you sure? Oh, it does have the mark in it. Northwood's usually a little more expensive. I don't want that though. It's not, I want an epic Northwood for my wall. This little redware doggy is cute. It still has the Japan mark on it. That's kind of cute. Take that raggedy collar off. For 50 and 20% off. Anyways, just showing you guys. I mean, some of it would be fun for ourselves. She has this as Roseville, but I'm pretty sure that's a fake. I'm going to double check, but that paint job looks horrible. And I know this was highly faked, so that's probably why it's still here. Oh, that's kind of cute. That might be, says something, that might be old. Alright, you guys, let's check this out real quick and then I'm going to move along. Shawnee. Twelve dollars. So there's no meat on the bone for that. Okay. Well, mm, let's continue on. Oh, wait a minute. I did pick something out of this booth. Look, that's my alcohol, and my I did pick something out. I don't think it's old or anything. I don't know, but look at the color. Is that not awesome for twenty percent off? Five dollars? Four dollars? I didn't get that. Give it to one of my daughters if I don't use it. It's just too pretty. No chips or anything. Too pretty of color. All right, now we go. Hey, hey, still here. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you something. The only thing I've added is this cute little pair of kitty cat earrings. <laughs> they, they're a little bit off of the dollar. But I'm stopping to show you guys this huge tin mantle kind of in a I'll, I guess I'll say art deco but I bet you there's something better to say this but isn't that awesome so beautiful it's tin can you hear that metal mantle $800 firm 
Woo. Let me back up. I like that. That's about almost five feet tall, not quite. All right, well, I'm still moseying around looking for good sale signs. Okay, I see something. Um, I can't get it because it's too much, even though they're having 10% off. But, you know, when it comes to the nesting things, I like the different critters, not just the hens. I want something more unique and detailed. But I'm mentioning this. Let me pull it up closer. So this is a turtle. And see that name? I don't even know how to say it yet. Um, I don't know how to say it yet. Valoristal? Okay, but I sniped something off of eBay. I got it yesterday. I'm going to add it to my wall when I do a video. I'm going to talk about what I learned about this versus Ellie Smith versus another brand because they sold molds and it helps to date things according to the color because whoever had the molds used a different color. So I learned a lot and I'm going to share it with those interested. Um, this label seems to be the higher end and the earlier productions. I'm not vouching for this, what this label says. I'm not vouching for it. Anyways, so if you're interested, stay tuned for that probably next week. But this little uranium Duncan Miller uranium glass ladle. That's cute. Lots of cute stuff in here, but um, not really for resale. So this all looks like Frakoma. There's the jadeite, but who knows if it's real or not. It says Fire King on it, so I guess. But I've got to learn still about that stuff. Oh, I like this. Oh, it's got a chip though, darn it. I like that. So that's why it's only $10. All right, moving on, you guys. Carnival glass. I have one piece in my collection and I sell what little I do buy. Because um, normally when I find it, it's just the cheaper stuff. Um, Okay, like, what did they have this marked as? Dugan, $10. I mean, that's not bad. The piece I have, I think, is of Westmoreland. It's even, like, not even quite as pretty. This Westmoreland piece isn't bad, but look at the difference. Okay, and that's a Fenton, 40 Millersburg, they're calling this, 50 Look at the... Um, Northwood. It's just, oh, it's just so pretty. Wait a minute, let's go look at some more pieces, okay? Over here. Compare some things. So there's a Northwood piece. This is what I'm wanting to find, but you know, of course, on sale or out in the wild. Imperial. I mean, it's still pretty, but it's just different. <laughs> so I don't know what process they use or if Northwood uses special salts, you know. I haven't learned that yet, but I will because I'm going to get me a piece of Northwood <laughs> um, for my glass wall. It's just so pretty. I like something like, like this, you know, not too florally, more Art Deco looking. And what is this? Fenton, they're saying this is Fenton. I mean, that's pretty too, you know. This isn't bad with the Greek. Yeah, that's what I thought, $50 Northwood. That's not bad either. It freaks me out the way some of these people need stuff like that so expensive set out. Like, I would be scared to death. Imperial, only 35 but that's pretty. But I want some of this. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not seeing anything real outstanding in there, you guys. Okay, moving on. I just wanted to talk about that. The variations of the carnival glass. Okay, I spotted something out of the corner of my eye. Hey, Fatbird Finds. I'm going to buy this for you. Craft tent. Three big set. Oil painting outfit. Oil painting made easy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, sh I, sh 
shouldn't laugh. But if they're seeing this, or if you know Fat Bird Finds, you're laughing with me. Let's get that for them. I'm trying to remember to film not just art class that I like. So, here's some interesting little vintage stuff. Little composite, particle board, whatever, pull toys. See if we can get some pricing, even though I won't be able to tell you if that's, you know, a good price or not. Sorry. 15 But from nostalgia, some of you might see something that you had or your grandma had. Cute, huh? <laughs> I don't think I had any of these, but I kind of remember them. Some of these Fisher Price things, I remember. That's fun. 25 on sale. <laughs> huh. Old radio tubes. Hmm. Old ephemera. Hmm. Okay, let's boogie on. Okay, wait. 75% <laughs> off? Well, let's see if there's anything left. I bet it's been picked over pretty well. A lot of dealers are moving out. Like, now, as we're here. Like, moving out. So, hopefully the future will be okay. I don't want... We only have two in this town. Well, two big ones. There's some small ones. Some redware, $15. So, 75% off. Man. That would be super cheap. What is that? Well, that's an interesting frame. Dang, that's interesting. Copper and carver wood, they say. $40, so it would be $10. Let's look. 75% off is pretty significant. this oyster shell looking thing hmm. 22 and then 75% off <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Put my mask on. Don't take offense. Oh, you're fine. I, mean, I don't have yours. <laughs> you can move my cart too, hon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's put fruit in there. Who puts fruit in those? You're just kidding. I might like this, though. Door alarm. How much is that? Seven dollars? Practically free. I'm getting this. <laughs> Look at this ironing board cover, y'all. Heck, the ironing board itself is old. Seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five percent off. Okay, where were we? miss anything at that price that's not old but man what a deal huh that shipping would be a nightmare so I'm gonna let someone else have that all right I think I'm done <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what I got. Hey there. Um, I'm gonna head on home because as you can see, there's gonna be a little thunder shower. And I was gonna show you guys something else. Let me zoom in. That area up there, I don't know if you can see the little toothpick trees, there was a forest fire. Sometimes we have forest fires. Like we don't have to worry too much about tornadoes or 
you know, things like that, that we do have to think about forest fires. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty happy. Um, I took my time in there to learn some things and I'm pretty happy with what I got. I can't wait to show you guys up close. And then the items that I got off of eBay to add like snipe, a great deal, you guys. And if any of you don't know how to do that, I'll teach you how to do that, okay? All right, you guys, I'm getting in the car and heading home. Bye-bye. Well, it is starting to rain, but I took a chance and drove the back way of this shopping center on my way home just to see because I didn't know if this store was open yet again and I was down to my last bag of packing supplies they've been closed but it looks like they've opened this is one of the one I've told you guys about before most of those bags are not trash they are just full of clean little plastic bags that they take off of the little baby clothes as they come in and then they put them out on the floor to, for sale so whew. Okay, I'm gonna go get me some more, thank goodness. Okay, so I just grabbed four. I'm just gonna trust that the universe will provide. I'm just gonna trust that when I run out again, just in time, there'll be more, like now. Like I used my last few bits this morning. There's like two little pieces left and then boom there it is so i'm just gonna have faith again okay and i'm just gonna get four because you know store okay i'm going home for real talk to you guys later.